Greetings and welcome to November. As mentioned in yesterday's video, this is week one of five of my giving thanks to my top 12 commenters on my channel. I will be announcing these channels two or three at a time every Wednesday, and they will be entered to win a chance to win $100 for the charity of their choice. I started my YouTube channel to make connections in the hobby. None of my friends are collectors. Two that I would consider my best friends, they don't even follow sports. So long story short, I wanted to share my collection with others and wanted to see other people's collections and discuss the hobby. I'm an introvert and really don't like much attention. So when I made my first videos, I didn't really advertise it. I've never asked for shout outs. Uh, some of the channels I would comment on, never inform them that I started making videos, none of that. Mostly because I was just nervous if my videos were any good. Year and a half later, no, they're not. <laughs> I didn't want to be made fun of and just hesitant of putting myself out there. And there were a couple of channels who would subscribe and then I'd return the favor, I'd subscribe to them, and they'd instantly unsubscribe as soon as I subbed them. I don't do it for the for the subs, but it is pretty noticeable when you only have like four subs and all of a sudden you're down to three. And then there'd be videos I'd post and they'd be out there for a week um, before I even got one view. And it sucked, it did, but um, I thought I'd give myself six months and if I couldn't get what I wanted out of this the way I wanted to do it, I'd scrap it and uh, no big deal. But then one day, Angry old man, Ed, found me and subbed me. And he was the first to ever be a regular commenter on my channel. I started looking forward to his comments. Then uh, one morning I woke up to several notifications that people had subscribed to my channel. So I knew something had to happen. And I saw that Ed gave me my first shout out, which I couldn't be more thankful for. So Ed is a big through the mail guy and loves autographs and autograph baseballs. So I thought to honor him, I'd share my favorite through the mail autograph baseball that I've ever received, and it's Carl Erskins. He is a TTM legend, and I had sent him years before, uh, before I sent the ball and got him on this 1957 Tops. But I wanted to get his autograph on a ball for my daughter. I have no idea where my collection will end up when I'm gone. Um, I hope my kids would want it, but if they don't, you know, they may not. But if I, um, if I went tomorrow, my daughter would inherit all of my Dodgers items. So I wrote Mr. Erskine a letter explaining, um, I've gotten him through the mail before, but I would love to have a ball specifically for my daughter and sent a donation with my letter for the Special Olympics. And the gentleman that Mr. Erskine is, he obliged and wrote back a great letter saying that my daughter and his granddaughter had some things in common. And he thanked me for the letter and the donation he added, that he remembered playing baseball in the, ci in, in the city where I live, and went into pretty good detail about uh, his time here, which was really cool for me. But this is one of my favorite baseballs and thought this would reflect um, Ed the Angry Old Man for his channel but as you can see he really just loaded it up full of stats like inscribed it with his no hitter against the Cubs in 52 wrote his time with the Dodgers 48 to 59 his second no hitter against the Giants um, 1953 league leader he was 20 and 6. Lifetime was 122 and 78. All Star in 1954. 53 World Series uh, strikeout record. And then uh, World Series champs. So, just one of my absolute favorite balls. And I sure hope my daughter will enjoy it as much as I have, since it's technically it's hers. But, Ed. I cannot thank you enough for all your support over the last year and a half. Um, 
I still look forward to all your comments, and I, I don't think you've ever missed a video I've posted. If you're not subscribed to Ed, please do so, and please watch his videos. He has a great channel and a great collection, and is just a great guy. He usually shouts out a handful of channels in every video he does. I think he's given me three shout outs, and this doesn't even do him justice for the generosity he's shown me. But again, Ed, thank you for your friendship. And because of Ed's first shout out, it led me to being introduced to Fabian, the undrafted player. So one of Fabian's many, many hobbies is golf. And why I chose this was because he uh, has had a couple videos where he has shown his favorite hole in golf and what his local golf course looks like. And I wanted to return the favor and kind of showcase my favorite hole and my local course. So this is a par five and need a pretty long poke to get it out there. So you kind of need a little John Daly power to put that ball where it needs to be. And Fabian, I had more that I was going to do with that video, but I had to scrap it. I really kind of wanted to showcase the whole hole, but the wind just got to be too much and you weren't able to hear anything I was saying. But I wanted to make the, that video for you as a um, kind of a scramble and show off the golf cart. So that's why you saw the John Daly, and then my next cards were going to be like, the next shot would be from Arnold Palmer, then Gary Player, the late Payne Stewart, and then finish it up by Jack Nicklaus. Um, it was a much better idea in my head than the execution of it, and it really wasn't enjoyable to carry golf cart or golf cards on the golf course to play. But, you know, I'm not the smartest person. But Fabian is from France, so I'd, um, for him, I thought I would share my autograph card of Rudy Gobert, the French NBA uh, player who used to play for the Jazz, now with the Timberwolves. And I also was going to share my Keith Kachuk rookie card but the French version. And if you can And it wasn't too long ago that uh Fabian opened up some hockey packs and got a couple of Kachucks in those packs. So I thought that was kind of fitting. And again, if you're not subscribed to Fabian the undrafted player, please do so. You never really know what you'll see with his videos. And I mean that as a huge compliment. One video, he's sharing his favorite golf course, which is what I was trying to do. The next, he's sharing his latest TTM return or his gardening skills, which look amazing. Or he's sharing some really great vintage baseball, football, or really any sport. No matter what the video is, it's enjoyable. He does a fantastic job of really showing who he is and, is, and not just his collection. He's got a great personality, and I just really like his videos. Fabian is, when he found my channel, he actually went back and watched and commented on all my videos. He's another I'm just really thankful for. He found my channel, and he reached out because I was able to sub him back, and I've enjoyed our conversations over the last year and a half. And he's got some great knowledge of 90s NBA as well. But because of Angry Old Man and Undrafted Player, and their comments, I continued to post videos and it became much more enjoyable to make videos knowing I had at least two people I could count on to watch and leave meaningful comments. And obviously, I still look forward to those comments today. But I was the recipient of one of Fabian's shout outs, which led me to connecting with two channels I'll be spotlighting next week. But thank you for all your support, Fabian, and thank you for your friendship. Enjoy your collection.